About a week ago, I filmed me pouring uh, some gold that I'd mixed with copper into a jar like this, and it exploded. But I was supposed to get it on high speed, and I somehow messed up and lost all the footage. So I decided that I would redo it. I don't know if it would actually cause it to explode, but I bought three more of these jars which were expensive, they were $20 each. Um, probably could have gotten something cheaper, and, but I, I, I needed to redo. I was so pissed I lost it, it had to be, I needed to get that footage back. And then I bought a bunch of random pieces of copper. I'm not gonna put gold in it because that's just gonna be expensive and make the cleanup a pain. And uh, just gonna basically melt this copper, pour it into a bunch of water and see what happens and I hope it's gonna explode. But yeah, so these copper pieces, I'm gonna put into this over here. I'm just gonna load it up in this very clean and beautiful uh, crucible. Just gonna drop them in. <laughs> yeah, probably should have got some uh, smaller copper, but whatever. The idea is we'll put it in here, probably one by one. And when the oven's on, it will get hot enough to melt the copper and uh, then we'll pour it in. So to get started, just gotta shut this, turn it on, and it should already be programmed to warm up and uh, get to the melting point of copper. No. Actually, you see here that it says it's gonna go to 2200 Fahrenheit right away, which is uh, bad. And it's going up to 800 now, that's good. Nice. So the first step is to fill this thing up with water. Exciting, very exciting. <laughs> oh, I just realized I'm not sure you do that. It's actually terrible. We didn't have this light on the whole time. That's okay. No, no, keep letting it go. Do we even mention what we're, what we're gonna do? I know, doing? we know. It's one of those few times where the goal is for a disaster to happen. But this time we're capturing it. It's only worth it if you capture it on film. <laughs> yeah, so here. Gotta get that nice white background. Okay. So it's pretty much all set up, but when the plan is for it to kind of explode and for maybe molten metal to shoot everywhere, you probably want some protection from it, which is why we're wearing, or at least I'm wearing, well, he is wearing too, but <laughs> Definitely me. I'm wearing a long sleeve just in case. And also, I have it over here. I have this sheet of plexiglass. Just gotta take the film off of it somehow. Oh, it's already been taken off. It's just really dirty. Do you think this would protect us from flying shards of metal? I don't think anything's really gonna go flying. Oh, yeah, I don't either. I don't yeah. think it's actually gonna shoot like glass into our faces. <laughs> we prepare as though it will. <laughs> but I really doubt it will. It'll make good, f I mean, actually, I hope it does. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That should be good. Looks Can't good. See Can't see it on the camera. Do you have enough space to bring the, the copper? Yep. We just pour it. So, this is all good to go. Uh, I, after doing that quickly, I realize it's a little bit more protective of you than it is of me. I mean, I gave myself space on this side, but I didn't realize how offset it was. I don't know, I got a nice little gap here. There's a bigger gap here. Oh yeah. Either way, it's true. at the end of the day, it's not even us that we care about, it's all this. Yeah. Yeah, we're trying to keep, yeah, I don't mind. Yeah. I don't mind. Yeah, you heal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. You'll, you'll recover, I'm sure, I'm sure you'll recover. Yeah. So, we gotta get this piece of copper into there. Okay. Uh, it's at 2200 Fahrenheit. So it's, yeah, it's a little hot. If you touch this at all, that's how that happens. <laughs> See those black marks? Oh my goodness. That's skin. No, it's not. That's not skin. <laughs> it's just, I touched it with plastic. Either way, <laughs> that would be your skin <laughs> if you touched it. That glow yeah. is uh, That's a good indicator of that it might be heat. a little warm. So you can see, it's like the sun in oh there. My. So, 
what we got to do is very quickly is drop it in. Yeah, there we go. The other uh, nice. piece of copper is already liquid in there. So, yeah, leave it there, wait for it to melt, probably take like a little bit longer. Okay, so it should all be molten now, so we can take a look. Nice oh. glow in there. You can see molten metal in there. Oh yeah, I see it, I, I see it. Oh, I don't like that. You saw a drip. Yeah. This container is, look at that. I hate that. That's kind of infuriating. <sighs> Are we aborting mission? No, it's still, mission's still good. Annoying. It's not the end of the world. I can replace it and fix it. Uh, not right now. <laughs> I'll just wait for it to heat up a bit again and then I can carry it over. Disaster. Yeah. So you have to be very careful because now there's like barely any insulation at the bottom. So I have to make sure that it doesn't like melt this stuff here. So yeah, the game plan is pour it in. Whatever happens, happens. <laughs> and uh, I'll stop the high speed this time. I mean, that's it. The game plan is pour it in. I don't know why I walked through it. You just pour it in. The trick is don't trip on the wires here. That's, that's, uh... And also, we got the, uh... Fire extinguisher. Not that it's gonna light anything on fire. I mean, there's a chance that all the paper will light on fire. <laughs> yeah, I think the paper is pretty tough. It's, it's held down. It's heated up again. I think the crucible is just leaking. I'm gonna carry it over this, just in case. God, what a disaster. God, that heat. Nice and easy. Okay. Now. Start the high speed. And, uh, let's see. <laughs> what a disaster! Where's the copper? We didn't leave it in long enough again. And it didn't melt. It all solidified. What an absolute disaster. What? I hate this. I think this is just a really bad quality crucible. Like, look, that has to be copper. And it looks oh, like yeah, it came that's... all from that oh, area. Yeah, that's copper. Yeah, that. And there's cracks in it. So that's done. I don't even have another big one like that. The best that I have is this. I mean, the biggest problem is there's a giant hole in the bottom of the oven now. I mean, that oven is uh, gonna have to be repaired to say the least. But what's our fix? This is a pretty good fix right here. So, I guess it's been like a week now. No, what, like five days? Five days, yeah. And uh, our poor oven <laughs> is not doing too good. I ordered new insulation for the bottom, but I have no idea when it's gonna arrive. So instead, we're just gonna do a little bit of surgery. I have this stuff here uh, called KO wall, which I've used many times before. It's basically the exact same thing. It's just alumina. So first incision. We're gonna go just through the, uh, uh, first through the superficial layer, assess the damage that we have, and then based on that, I will, uh, uh-oh. <laughs> I just assumed it was a second layer because there was such a, a complete line, but I've realized it's because the door shuts <laughs> right there. It's, there's not two layers, it's just one, burnt part and one less burnt part. Wait a minute, so it's just one thick layer? Yeah, so I gotta cut all the way down. There is no superficial layer. <laughs> it's full surgery. Okay, I gotta cut all the way to the metal. Okay. Okay. The hard part is getting the cut back there. How do I do that? Just yank it. I don't wanna- Oh, it oh, breaks. I guess, I guess it yeah. just breaks. Whew. So it didn't make it to the metal at the bottom. Ooh, Thank God. God. Very close though. Is that a separate layer of something they put just to protect from idiots? No, it's just a burnt part. I was like, maybe they put an extra layer to protect it from morons. So I just have to match the, uh, the width roughly. 
So look at that. It's just, like brand new. It looks brand new. I just have to do a little polishing. Okay. I think this will be okay. I didn't get a big crucible again. I just have this little one, which I think makes more sense. The only thing is on this, it's a little bit more precarious. Oh, this is good. That's what we should have had at the bottom the whole, I had it the whole time. Oh my God, it's perfect. How come we didn't use that earlier? I don't know. <laughs> what about our metal mix? That's the thing. Good point. We're not gonna use copper. We're gonna add a bit of tin to make bronze, uh, which will lower the melting point and make it easier to pour. Putting around 25% tin will be okay. Knock the melting point down. Hopefully let us pour it and finally be done with this. Okay, so we're getting the tin here. So you see 25 grams. Oh, that's good. Tin has a really low melting point. So we could melt it probably in this glass. Which Let's I, do it. Mm, mm. What's the dilemma? It's just completely pointless. <laughs> yeah. Do you think it'll melt? I think so. Okay. That liquefied pretty easy. I'm just heating up the rest of the glass. Okay. So, get the gloves. Where do we put those gloves? Where did we put them? Did we take them off here? I constantly lose everything. Where did it go? Oh, it's right there. This is awful. Okay, I lose way too much stuff. Okay, so. Now we can get back to business. So the tin is in, and I think we can just add uh, the copper right some down. copper right away. Good. Good to go. I swear, if this falls over, I don't know. I, I guess I'll have to just fix it again. <laughs> okay, getting ready to put the second piece of copper in. Oh man, that's just Ooh. liquid in there. Okay, I think it's a little bit excessively hot. And I think for, God, I think for making bronze, we've gone a little bit uh, extra on this one. Yeah, we're gonna let it sit there, liquefy all the copper, and uh, then we're gonna have to, I'm gonna have to shake it to mix it with the uh, tin. I should look up what the melting point of 25% bronze is. Yeah. It's just definitely lower than t uh, 1100, which is what's important. So far, the oven has survived. Our, uh... <laughs> I see it bulging there a bit. We're gonna have to monitor that. Because if it, mel if it hits, st starts melting the fan, it just immediately turn off time. Yeah, it's like, it's not hot. It's surviving. The fix is working. I'm going to uh, just swirl it. Ooh, look at that liquid metal. But see, it stayed liquid pretty long. Definitely better than before. Put it back in there for a little bit longer? Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. All right, so we're doing this. Yeah, so I don't know if the tin is gonna make it explode more, so I'm a little bit, I don't <laughs> like things that go pop. Yeah, we've, I know. We've established this. We have. Whoa! Yeah. Is it just refusing to melt? I think it might just be um, oxidation, because I can put it back, It's there's liquid in there. I think, I think it, um, the top layer just oxidized, like the copper and tin, just formed an oxide layer. So it's not that it's not melting, it's totally melted. It's just that I have to first break an oxide layer. Um. Mm. I mean, you can try. Okay, let's go. One, two. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Good almost, call. yeah, almost. Good call. Same in the day right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Pass. If you look in here, you can see 
what I'm talking about. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, it's perfect. There's like a layer of just junk on the top. You know, that was like surprisingly... Tame? Tame. Yeah, it didn't explode. Okay. So, we're gonna just look and see. The red hot metal hits and immediately forms like this air bubble around it. Well, not air bubble, I guess water vapor. So it immediately boils the water and creates a pocket of vapor around it, which prevents other water from hitting it. But right here, it explodes at the bottom. And then that explosion, Whoa, yeah, that explosion cool. travels up. Whoa. So what I'm thinking what happened, I'm thinking what happened was that when we originally did it with the gold, the gold, I poured it so fast into it that the gold hit the bottom and that's when it did that explosion. This one did it just before the bottom. Mm. So yeah, doing your idea of using a little bit less, less water. water might make it, oh God, <laughs> might do that. <laughs> All right, okay. Let's okay, see. all right. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna try it again. We're gonna use a bit more tin. At the end of the day, the amount of tin that's used doesn't really matter because we're gonna just keep it in the oven until it's 1200C, right? True. So instead of remaking or remelting all the copper, we're just gonna reuse the really bad quality stuff that we made. How's this jar? Let's see this jar. It's kind of funny. It's just, it's not that bad. <laughs> we can glue it back together. <laughs> oh no. So all we need to do is heat it to get rid of the water. I think I know it'll work better. Put it back. Okay. Now we have, there's an extra 35 grams of tin now. Should be good. Ooh, that's just pure liquid. Some, All right, let's do this. Put some junk on top. Hurry before it cools I'm off. I'm stalling because I'm scared. Okay. Here we One, go. Two, three. Oh! Did you see what flew out of that? Fire. Oh! You saw it hit the glove? Look like it. Well, that's why I'm protected. Yeah. Yes. No one reminded me to stop. I <gasps> no. It. I did it all on my oh own. Oh my god, I had a heart <laughs> attack. Huh. It just exploded the moment it hit the surface. Whoa. So here's the problem. We had two variables. We had less water and more tin. That's called bad science. Uh, so we don't know whether it was the higher content of tin that made it explode, like right away. Based on the limited footage that I saw on the high speed, it looked like it hit the surface and immediately exploded. And it looked like it had a bigger impact when it hit. Right. Which would be because it had more velocity when it hit the surface of the water. So I think putting it very high up might be the idea where it has a very sleek you entry, know, entry to the water. Right. So it makes it to the bottom and it's at the bottom that it explodes. Does All that right. make sense? All right, let's try it. To get rid of the same variable, we'll just reuse what we had and then just use higher water. And that will tell us if it explodes, like pops again, then we know it was just the mixture. Mm. But if it doesn't and it makes it to the bottom, we know it's like the, uh, the height difference. Water. All right. So, do I have chicken sauce on my face? No. I'm good. <laughs> this is the last run. We're out of jars. <laughs> okay, so we add this. The stove okay. has tanked it out. Yeah, it survived. Good job, stove. Okay, I think it should be good. Okay. This is gonna be the explosion we've been waiting for. Okay, one. Oh. Was that a confirmation that was of a theory? Confirmation. What was the theory? <laughs> was it my theory? No. Oh. No. My theory! I came up with it! <laughs> oh, we have I created it. the... 
I'm joking. Oh my God. <laughs> Heart attack creator. Oh my God. Silence in the room. Okay. So, see, that's what the blast shield is for. Damn. So you see the molten metal go in. And look. Yeah, it detonated at the bottom. Look. That's why I bought the high speed, so we can solve mysteries like that. Yes. Very important. <laughs> Clean it up. I have, uh, I have a meeting to go to. Wow. I actually do. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> meeting with... <laughs> oh, God. Clean this all up. I have business to attend to. <laughs> business meeting. Either way, mission success. Woo! Celebrate.